Hello, it's Tara. I want to share a story about how connecting to a past life helped me with my visibility issues, sort of stuff I had coming up around being visible, more powerfully than anything I've ever done before. So I know, you know, many empaths, empathpreneurs struggle with this, and I certainly, certainly did. It was my biggest fear, you know, being visible to the point where I wouldn't even talk to family on video calls. I was just hated being seen. Just really, really huge fear around it. Didn't want to be seen in any way or form. Wouldn't have photos. Absolutely not. None of that. So, you know, obviously you need to be visible as a coach, as a mentor, because you're the one that people are working with. And especially if you want an online business, they need to see who they're working with, in, you know, and as an empath, we like to feel the energy, we like to feel the person. So knowing I had to do this was a big thing for me and took me a very long time. A lot of work, a lot of modalities, healing, everything. But what was so powerful was this connecting to a past life. So my work is with the chakras and connecting them to blocks that can come up, fears um, that connect each of the chakras. So things like feeling safe to be seen, expressing yourself, um, grounding and boundaries in business, creativity flow. I mean, many of these different things that connect to a chakra that come up when you're starting a business, when running a business, different stages, and they come up to varying degrees, you know, different levels as you go through different levels of expansion. So I've always connected to my chakras and, you know, used them as kind of a benchmark for me to work out where I need to, you know, to support myself and to help myself well with wellness, with, with all of it, the different things that come up. And I've always had trouble connecting to my sacral chakra. I just was unable to visualize it, having, you know, been able to visualize clearly the other chakras. So, you know, I really intuitively knew that there was something going on here. There was something disconnect, um, something not quite coming together. So I did set an intention, you know, for this to, to happen, for myself to connect to the chakra, not knowing what would come from it at all. And, you know, one day, not that long after I set that intention and been, you know, doing some work, wellness stuff as well with the sacral in general, and colour, colour therapy a lot too, I woke up one morning and was just so emotionally overwhelmed. I couldn't stop crying and I didn't know why. Now, you know, I'm very happy to feel my feelings these days and express myself and cry. But this was just, I didn't know what was what was causing it at all. And I couldn't stop. I really couldn't stop. Every minute, like I would burst into tears and just feel these waves of grief and overwhelm and too much and hurt and sadness and just so many layers of emotions. So... I cancelled all my calls that day. Luckily, I have some incredibly wonderful people in my life these days who get that. I don't have to lie and say that, you know, something's come up. I can say what I'm going through, which I'm grateful to have. So I was able to go into it. So I allowed myself to feel into it and just connected with my body and realised that I was feeling it in my sacral. So I went in and I've done, you know, I've done work on this before. I'm quite good at going into them, supporting others. So... I was able to take myself into it and I just really instantly connected to this past life in India where I was being sexually assaulted and abused by a number of men and it was incredibly graphic, incredibly painful and my whole body started convulsing and shaking, the, the tears just got uncontrollable and loud and it was severely overwhelming and distressful at the time. But I know, you know, I know how to move myself through it. So I started intuitively moving my body um, and, you know, just moving my hips, my sacral area and allowing the energy to pass through. And it did incre incredibly, you know, it really came out in many, many ways just through movements, body movements, like craziness and then noises that I've never made before in my life. And in all honesty, didn't think I ever could. And had always thought that it was a bit strange when people made noises, not understanding my own ignorance and not knowing and so I that's what happened and this hugest hugest shuddering release came out and it was like it had left and then after that I connected to the situation and 
was able to just change it completely to one of love, respect, where nothing happened like that. There was no violation. Honour, respect and love and just complete mutual love and understanding. And those men, I now even can visualise it and see them as being kind of like, what's the word? People that look after me and like really cared for me and really revere me. So that was such a wonderful shift and that it's safe to be me safe to to be me in my fullness my my entirety my beauty my honesty my vulnerability and after that it got easier to share I don't know why or how but it really did it's such magic so you know here I am sharing this story and I was petrified before of even talking about past lives as something that I can help people with even you know even though I did but just showing that power of connecting to a past life and how that cleared something for me. And, you know, I've done it with other areas too. That was a particularly powerful one. And, you know, since then, you know, there's integration time and it does, you know, go on. But there is real magic in connecting to them. And if it's something that calls you that, you know, it could be an ancestral life. And, you know, there's, there's a lot about how trauma passes through the generations. And we know that, of course, we really can, we can feel it. So, yeah, if it calls you please get in touch. I'd love to support you. You can book in a, a free Get Grounded breakthrough call at the link in my bio. And we can chat and just feel into what's coming up and whether we might be a fit to work together. I'd also love to know how have you experienced past lives? How have they supported you in your business, in your life? Oh, yeah, I'm really curious. I think it's a fascinating, wonderful area and I'd love to know more, you know, and whether this resonates. Thanks so much for watching and just sending much love and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.